I, I think the only concern that we had was, and we purchased one, was the propane. You know, I think when we got, knowing that we'd be out there for nine and a half, ten days, um, when we got to day four and the first propane canister ran out, I thought to myself, okay, well, we got eight days then. Um, so we went and purchased one, big deal, eight bucks. Um, but no, other than that, I, all the equipment was there. I mean, it down to the wine key. It, it was there, the, those small matches, um, salt and pepper. I thought maybe we didn't have any. I looked through, salt and pepper. So th those, those small things were there. So I, I think really, you know, you kind of had it all in there. We purposely sought out the you know, more secluded areas, um, the more formal campsites. Some of them were crowded, but yeah. we weren't trying to stay at those. Yeah, even then, you know, the, the Forestry Service has those camp campgrounds with the, the nice metal fire rings mm -hmm. and stuff. We did stay in a few of those, uh, just because of the fact there was no one in the one we wanted to stay in. Yeah. And actually, the, the road that we took to get around it was a huge, beautiful meadow yeah. for 50 miles, and it was it, it made you know made it worth it. Yeah, and it was it was you know I don't want to call it easy to navigate around those those closures, but but it was. I mean, as long as you prepared for it, knowing that you know. We knew that going into it, when you, when you hit those rivers that run east and west, there were gonna be points where you could only cross at one or two spots. So as long as you knew those spots, getting around and the roads was significantly easy. And the fact that they're so well maintained, I mean, you can make up some time if you needed to, too. You know? Really, other uh, some road closures and some trail closures. That was really the only obstacle that we faced. Nothing with with the equipment itself. I mean, the I can't think of any. Nothing issues. with specifically with the truck or anything like that. Just the you know, I think a day or two that we were having trouble finding the most secluded camping spot. You know. Um, and, and but we still found sites, it just yeah. took us a little longer. We want to find that place off the side of the road that has a fire pit that somebody used. So, you know, that's, that's for us to scout and hunt, and that's how we do it. Yeah.